Hey everybody, this is Pastor Emily, and I am recording worship today for my preschool friends and for those who just need Children's Chapel. And with me today is one of my best friends in the whole world. This is Oscar. Oscar is 16-ish, and he and I have been buddies since for 12 years. I have another cat. Her name is Sabrina, and she's currently giving herself a bath, so she's not terribly dignified right this second. But I know when we are together at Wittenberg Lutheran Preschool Program, we love to talk about our pets. I know a lot of my friends have cats and dogs, and some of you have other things as well. And they are very, very important members of your family. So I wanted to talk today about Oscar's favorite story. But first, let's sing a song. Now, Oscar's not big on hand motions, so he may not like this part. But we're going to do Father, I Adore You. So Father, Jesus, Spirit, and then three in one. And the verses repeat, okay? Father, I adore you, and I lay my life before you. How I love you, Jesus, I adore you, and I lay my life before you. How I love you, Spirit, I adore you, and I lay my life before you. How I love you, three in one, I adore you, and I lay my life before you. How I love you. I know you all just did a great job singing. So today's story is going to be about Noah and the Ark. You've heard this one before. And we even have a friend, Noah, at the preschool. Noah, this story is not about you, but you're named after this guy. And I know that it's one of your favorites, too. So, God spoke to a man named Noah, and he told Noah that it was time to build a really big boat. The biggest boat you've ever seen. And Noah said, it's not raining. It's not flooding. I don't live near the ocean. What am I going to do with a really big boat? But God told him to go ahead and build the boat and to get it big enough for everybody. And so Noah started building the boat. And maybe his wife thought he was crazy. And maybe his kids and their wives thought that he was crazy. But he kept building and he kept building and he kept building and the boat got bigger and bigger and bigger. And when the boat was done, Noah took two Two, this many, of every kind of animal. Two cats, two dogs, two guinea pigs, two hamsters, two ducks, two chickens, two pigs, two cows, two butterflies, two lizards, two of everything. This is a good part if you want to pause and act out your favorite animals. I think you should do that. Kids, you can do that too. And they all got on the boat and God said, all right, it's time. God shut the door of the ark. That's what they called the big boat. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained. It rained for so long that rain covered the whole land. Rain covered the mountains. Rain covered everything. Noah and his family were in the boat while it rained for 40 days. That is six weeks of being in a boat with animals and eight people because it was just Noah and his wife and their three sons and their wives. See that pretty boy? Isn't he a good kitty? And the boat was probably pretty stinky too. That's what I'm thinking, but the Bible doesn't tell us for sure. And after 40 days and 40 nights of rain, 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 you know what happened? It stopped raining. God said it was time to dry out. And one day, Noah wanted to see if there was any dry land anywhere. So he sent a bird out, and the bird flew away, and the bird flew back. 
and it didn't have anything. And Noah said, must not be anything out there. And then another day, Noah sent a bird out and the bird flew away and the bird came back with a branch in its mouth. And the bird said, and Noah said, there must be tops of trees out. And the third time Noah sent the bird out, the bird didn't come back. And so Noah knew that it was getting safe for the birds to make a home somewhere. And pretty soon, God told Noah to get ready. And one day the ark went, bump! It ran into a mountain and it stayed there. The Noah and his family had to wait a little bit longer, but then they were able to get off of the boat. And you know the first thing they did? They worshiped God and said, thank you for saving our lives, for keeping us safe, for helping us to follow you. I bet that was really hard. I know a lot of us right now are staying at home all the time. And all we ever see is our families. And we are so, so glad for our pet friends who help us. So... When we feel kind of cooped up and cramped up, we can at least be glad that we're not on a boat with all of the animals. I don't know if I could have handled it, people. But we know that God is with us right now, and God will be with us at the end. And when it is time, and when it is safe, and when everything is ready, we will come back together and we will worship God just like Noah and his family did when they got off the boat. Let's pray. Can you bow your heads and fold your hands and pray with me? Dear God, thank you for our animal friends. Thank you for our families. Thank you for all the people who love us. Help us to take care of each other and to love each other the way that you love us. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, you got your hands ready for Jesus Loves Me? Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. It is so good to worship with you today. I can't wait till we be together in person. May God the Father and Son and Holy Spirit bless you now and forever. And if you wait just a minute, I'm going to try to get Sabrina's attention so you can see her too. Here you go. Sabrina, there's my pretty girl. I hope that got that. There she is. Yeah. You all have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.